Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Little Chalfont. I've just come out for an evening drive in my larder. We're going over to Chalfont and Latimer Station. The reason we're going here is because today some London, some signal boxes on the London Underground have just been given a Grade 2 listed status. So I thought it'd be quite nice to go and see them on the day they've just been listed. But as I walk to the station, which is not far from here, I have something else I want to quickly talk about and that is I want to say thank you to all of you who watch my videos today I reached 7,000 subscribers which I'm really pleased about I'm really happy you know to have got to another milestone it always it's always nice when you reach a round number like 7,000 it also it really helps with the videos the more subscribers I get the more places you know I get asking me to come and make a video for them Earlier this year, I was invited to the Children and Princess Risborough Railway to have a look in the uh, Princess Risborough signal box. If you want to see that, have a look at the link on the screen now. So it always helps with those kind of things, the more subscribers I get. So, you know, please do like and share and subscribe. And um, as I said, thank you very much for helping me get there. Of course, in the meantime, I will continue to travel around the rail network or go out for drives in my larder, visit miniature railways, narrow gauge railways, railways of all shapes and sizes in various different countries around Europe. Um, at the time of filming, I've recently just been to Austria and I made a, I've published one video so far. I've got a few more videos from Austria to come, including a trip on a paddle steamer where I'm going to go down and have a look in the engine rooms, the steam engine rooms on the paddle steamer. So all of that is to come and like I say, all of these videos help with the more subscribers I get. So thank you very much. It's uh, very, very much appreciated. Now, as we approach um, Chaffont Latimer Station, just walking past the appropriately named Metropolitan Pub, let's talk about these phone boxes the phone boxes we're going to have a look at so four have been listed today one here at Chalfont Latimer one at the next station Chorley Wood so we'll get the train down to Chorley Wood and have a look at that one there's also one at Northwick Park and one at Kennington so we're going to have a look at these two today they're called the K8 design and they're designed by an architect called Bruce Martin they were installed around Britain between 1968 and 1983 and there's now less than 50 of them here we are there's the underground and the br sign stations just down here of course i have done other videos here at chaffin latham in the past so they were installed between 1968 and 1983 they're quite different to you know what your typical phone boxes you see the ones that appeared all over london and great britain in the 1920s the ones designed by gilbert scott which have you know little windows um, and that kind of thing they're not they're not quite like that um, they they have one big window and I think they might be made out of fiberglass but we'll have a look when we get to one so as we approach the back entrance of the station which doesn't have ticket barriers we can see the phone box we've just come to look at there it is funny it says ticket holders only I mean I will we're going to catch the train i'm going to use the contactless so there we are i've touched in even though i've actually passed through a barrier and um there is the the uh, phone box that we've come to see so we're going to walk down and under so that way is looking back towards london that way looking directly to amersham and then of course the chesham branch goes off there there's the old uh, bay platform for chesham which when they used to run the eight a stock trains they were in two halves, two four-car units. They used to get a four-car unit running down the branch to Chesham. They were great fun. You also used to get the four-car units on the East London line. Such a shame they didn't preserve a, an A-stop train in working order. There, there is at least one carriage preserved at the, um, what's it called, the uh, London Transport Museum depot. But they, I don't think we'll ever see an A-stop train pass through here again. So that's the Chesham Bay over there. Um, is that a train coming now? There's a train coming out of London, an S-stop train. It is actually a strike bit today, so there's, I'm not expecting to see any Chilton Railways trains today. Anyway, here is this phone box. Look at that. Telephone. So as you can see, very different from the ones we used to look. One huge window on the door and a window each side. Let's go inside. And um, oops, 
it's, it's more cramped as the train pulls in. It's more cramped than um, your typical phone box. It says railway automatic phone. I if it works. Have a look at that. I'm glad it's just me making this video. I don't think, have you ever played that game when you're younger and you try and see how many people fit into a phone box? You wouldn't get more than maybe three. Um, how does this work? I can't, oh, there we go, I've got it. There's a dining tone. There's no dining tone. So I think although the single box might be listed, I don't actually know if it works. Um, there we are, that's that. Uh, if I open the door, you can see a bit better. So yeah, there's no dialing tone, which is a bit of a shame. I was gonna try and ring someone up. Maybe there will be, it surely would. So what I'm gonna do now, as uh, that S-stop train departs towards, um, not sure it's going to Amersham or Sheffield, it's going to Amersham. We're gonna wait for a train up towards London. We're gonna to go to Chorley Wood. Here it is. This is the box at Chorley Wood. One of Chalfont Latimer was painted maroon. This one's painted blue. Now, unfortunately, we can't go inside this one. It's locked. You need a tea key to get inside. What's really interesting, though, it's a bit, um, well, it's slightly different. So you've got the phone in the middle, the, the yellow phone, which opened the box and got the phone. So it's a phone box in a phone box, miniature phone box in a big phone box. Anyway, what's really, really fascinating, and it's going to be hard to show on camera, see, see this here? This has a list of all the other stations and all the numbers, like it says platform, ticket office, etc. So from here, I, I get the impression that I'm not sure if they were for public. Maybe someone watching can tell me. I don't actually know if these were, they certainly aren't now for the public to use. I mean, everyone's a mobile these days. But it seems that staff could ring any of these stations. I mean, say if uh, somebody had an elderly person and they had a lot of luggage and they were dropped off by their grandchildren here, they might be being met by their son or daughter at the other end. Inferior member staff could ring ahead to the station they're going to and, um, you know, say that they're coming. Like A bit like today, you can book assisted travel. Um, quite often elderly people who are travelling sort of long-distance journeys, especially with luggage on the national network, do book travel. You can get a better look, actually, here, look. And it actually says private, so yeah, I don't think I'm allowed in there, but we can, we can have a look at it from here. And um, as I said, there's a, there's a list on this side of um, all, all the phone numbers. I did notice after filming the last bit of last while while waiting for the train, it said station to station phone box. But it's um, really quite fascinating. A different form of iconic design. We're so used to the, um, like I say, the, the Giles Gilbert Scott ones. I think it's really nice that something from the 1960s has been listed. Because I do think, sadly, a lot of iconic structures from the 1960s have been lost. I mean, on a completely different scale. Um, that in Portsmouth, the Tricon Centre was a 1960s building. That was demolished, which I'm really sad about because I thought it was a fantastic building. We can't go in the signal box. Let's go in the waiting room. We can go in here. And look at this. This feels very much... Um, of a different era. Um, I suppose seeing the face coverings means that if you're watching this video in a hundred years time and I'd forgotten to put a date or something, you'll know it's after 2020 because um, but no one really wears face coverings anymore. One of the mazes which um, they've been around for at least 10 years they started appearing on London Underground. And the other nice thing is they still have a timetable. So this is Chorleywood southbound trains, some of them of course are Chilton Railways trains, so from Chorley Wood all the way to Allgate, it says it takes exactly 60 minutes. I'm not going to get on the train and time it, but um, yeah, so it's about a 60 minute journey to Allgate. So I think it's really nice they have the time to it's because out here they're not so frequent that they come along every few minutes. 
I've got um, five minutes till my train goes back. I think probably of all the stations on the Metropolitan Line, Chorleywood is my favourite. If they're ever running anything unusual, like occasionally steam on the Met, it's great seeing steam engines coming up this bank because it's really up quite hill today. They look fantastic going through here. Down there is the old signal box. Last time I came here was to make a video, have a look at Lincoln screen now, about a book written about the coming of the railway to Chorley Wood. So again, that's the kind of thing when you get lots of subscribers, helps you to get um, projects like that come along. So from Chorley Wood, like I said, I think it is probably my favourite station on the, certainly on the Metropolitan Line, probably on the whole of the London Underground. It's, you know, just so nice and quiet. There's a few people about, but it's not like your typical bustling tube station. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you very much for getting me to 7,000 subscribers. I do really appreciate it. And um, please do like, share, comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And maybe soon I'll be making one saying thank you very much all for 8,000 subscribers. Maybe if they do, London Underground will have to find something else to list. I don't know, but it's um, I'm really happy to see a piece of our heritage listed. So thank you very much from Chorleywood Station. Goodbye.